hello guys welcome back to with share tips and in this video i'm going to talk about how to fix your green game is having fatal error or black screen error and how you can completely fix this up and you can try this step to almost every single game when you're having this and these are common issues which you have to try out so let's move to the workarounds and if you're for the first time to our channel then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification so let's move to the solution so the first one is all about when you're having the trouble the first one is all about you have to restart your pc as we all know that how to restart a pc all we have to do is we just have to go over here and we have to click over here and go for restart that is what you have to do you just have to click on restart your pc and after restarting your pc you have to check whether you have still having the issue or not even after trying this if you are having the error you just have to forward to the next one So next one is all about you have to install VP9 video extension on your uh, PC or laptop. So this will be completely fixing the issue regarding black screen and all we have to do is just follow the instruction. So I'll be giving a link in the description. So once you have to click on the respective link that will take you to this one which is on the Microsoft and you have to as you can see this is VP9 video extension and you have to click on get option. So they are asking you a question whether you wanted to open Microsoft store. So go for open Microsoft store and from here on the Microsoft store you have to download this extension and you have to install on your PC and you have to check and most probably this will be helping guys fix the issue up and even after trying this if it's not working the next is all about you have to do with the steam that is you have to give a command dx11 in the launch options so let me get into the game so you have to give the command okay So I have signed into this team and now what you have to do is you just have to go to the library. Now from here on the library you have to select the respective game in your case whatever the game it may be. So you have to select the respective one go to properties. Here as you can see there is a launch option right. Here in the launch option you have to give a command dx11. Okay so I will be giving this command so you don't have to worry this will be in the description. And once it is done you just have to launch the game once again and you have to play the game. And most probably this has to be fixed and even after trying this if it's not working then we just have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to delete the save game files as we know that we have to navigate to where the game is installed so you can go in the either way either you can go over here and right click on the respective game go to properties so here in the browse local files you can navigate in this way which will take you to where the game is installed okay you can go in this way uh, in that way also it is possible and even if it's not working as you can see this is being taken to where the game is installed as you can see this is local disk C program files steam steam apps common and crab game so in, in this way you can navigate to the game where the game is installed and from here there will be an option called saved folder so you just have to delete the saved folder then you just have to uh, close this up you have to minimize all these things and you have to do a restart on a PC then you have to try to play the once again by going back to the steam and most probably either steam or whatever it may be if, if it is epic games you can try the same and most probably the issue has to be fixed even after trying with the fourth step if it's still not working the next is all about you have to verify the integrity of game files as we all know that how to do this step so just follow the instruction to verify integrity of game file you just have to go over here right click on the respective game whatever the game you have you have to right click and you just have to click on properties now from here there is an option called local files you have to navigate to verify integrity of game files so this will take a little bit of time if any kind of files has been corrupted or you are having any kind of trouble in that way this has to be fixed and this is what you have to do now try to play and even if you are not working with we have to go for the next one next one is all about you have to do a clean installation of graphic drivers uh, graphic drivers manually so I'll be giving link in the description to these graphic drivers for both Nvidia as well as for the AMD drivers 
So you have to go to the GeForce. For the GeForce, you just have to go here, give all the respective name. You just have to go for it and search and download and install the respective graphic drivers. And if you are on the AMD, you have to give all the correct details over here. And you have to download and install. And you have to see whether you are able to fix the issue up or not. Even after trying this, if it's not working, then we have a solution 7. Solution 7 is all about you have to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So to do this, what you have to just have to go over here on the search. And you have to search for usually settings you have to search for settings from here in the settings you just have to go over here on security privacy and security over here you have to go to windows security now from here on the windows security as you can see the virus and protection so you have to click on this one now from here what you have to you just have to scroll down and navigate to manage ransomware protection from here as you can see this has been turned off so you just have to enable this one and here there is an option called allow an app through control folder access so you have to click on this one and you have to add the game as you can see i have already added crab game forza horizon adobe premium pro in the same way you have to add the respective game you can browse it all by here and you just have to add the game and after adding the game you have to check with whether you are able to fix even after trump sometimes it won't work but i'm suggesting the alternative methods so next is all about if you are using any kind of laptop users with dual graphics card run the game on dedicated graphic card that is very important so in order to do this you just have to go over here or else you will be having the trouble so just go over here and search for graphic settings you just have to search for sorry just have to search for graphic settings you have to click over here now from here in the graphic setting as you can see you will be having the option so now i have already added the two games crab game and forza horizon so now even you will be having an option called browse where you can add the game you can click on this and the respective game will be added even after adding the game you have to set the performance that is very important so what you have to just click on the game and you will be having an option button you just have to click on this one and set the performance into high performance for both the game any game which you wanted to having the trouble you have to do this up and once this performance is being set into new one and if the game is not available here you don't have to panic just click over here on the browse and add the game.exe file over here and once it is done you just have to play with the game and most probably the issue has to be fixed even after trying this if it's not working then we have to go for the next one so next one is all about you have to update your windows which is very quite important that you have to do so in order to update the windows we just have to go over here and we just have to go for settings now from here in the settings navigate to windows update at the bottom over here you have to click on uh, check for updates and you just have to wait for a couple of minutes and you will be getting an option if any kind of updates are there so just update it and most probably that is have to be done with this one and even after trying this if it's still this issue is persisting then that will be definitely regarding the graphics card so you have to update your graphics card that is also very important so to do this you just have to go over here on the start icon now from here you just have to click on device manager from here what do you have to do? You just have to go over here on the display adapters from here there is an option called nvidia geforce rtx so you just have to click and go for update driver and go for search automatically for drivers and this has to be updated right so this is what you have to do and even after trying this if it's not working then we have two solution which has to be done from your side for the must and the next one is all about you have to close all overlay apps si simultaneously you have to close all overclocking applications and also you have to perform a clean reboot so you may think about what is or close overlay app means you have to do this necessary that what you have to do is you have to do it on this team so you just have to go over here on the steam then you just have to right click and go to properties now from there is an option called general under general we have an option called enable the steam overlay so make sure this is disabled and that is about close overlay app and even after trying with this one we have next one which is called close all overclocking applications like discord you have to uh, do something like discord and for geoforce and if you're having geoforce you have to do this up and uh, msi burner if you're having msi after burn all these things you have to turn this so that is about closed all overclocking application and next is all about you have to perform a clean boot so to do this you just have to go over here and you have to search for system configuration click over here and you'll be having an option called service here as you can see over here in the service you have to click on hide all microsoft services and you have to go for disable so i'm not going to do this part but for you have to try this out because it is very important once you disable all these things go for apply and go for ok and most probably the issue has to be fixed and even after trying this if it's not working we have last and the least solution which i have seen in the reddit and it has helped many of the users so that's why i'm suggesting you guys which is all about you have to install 
uh, the Microsoft Visual C++. So I'll be giving link in the description to take you to this. And from here, as you can see, you'll be having the option like you have 86 PC or I mean the Windows and you have 64, you have to do accordingly. So here I have to click on this one and I have to download and install. Respectively, according to your use, you have to download and install it. And most probably after installing, you have to go back to the Steam and try to play the game, whatever it may be. Or if it's on Epic Games, just go for the same. And most probably the issue has to be fixed. And these are the workarounds when you have to try out when you're having the fatal error and black screen and error or any kind of errors on a PC and how you can fix this up or laptop. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Peace out.